welcome to uh, welcome to this uh, uh, this um, audio mentoring webinar. And I am really excited to have all of you here with us today. I look forward to, well, first I want to thank you and congratulate you for taking action to be a part of this program. Uh, this is a, um, you, this is my first audio mentoring program, actually. And, uh, and so I, I look forward to working with each one of you and you know, help you uh, to be as successful as you can be and you know, have and take advantage of this, this foreclosure uh, perfect storm that we have going on out there right now and take advantage of the market that we're in right now and make a lot of money out of this market. You know, I expect that we have another three to five years to go with this market. And so, you know, so hopefully we'll, uh, uh, you guys will, uh, will, you know, pick up from, uh, from doing these little single family homes and get better at it and start doing packages of foreclosures of REOs instead of individual REOs and be as successful as you want to be, okay? Um, and so I'm pretty excited. So again, thank you so much for, for, for being here and uh, for being a part of this program. All right, um, a couple of uh, housekeeping uh, stuff here. Number one, uh, we are going to have this training on a weekly basis, okay? Uh, we, we're doing this today on Wednesday, but I think that starting next week, we're going to you know, do it on, a, on Tuesdays instead of Wednesdays because um, I, uh, yeah, I, I normally have a lot of stuff to do on Wednesday, and so I, I, uh, I, I didn't want to do it yesterday, Tuesday, because I already did the Q&A yesterday. So I wanted to, you know, to you guys to have a break between the Q and A and this one. And so that's why we're doing it on a, today on a Tuesday, uh, instead of a uh, instead of a, uh, a Wednesday here. But uh, moving forward, though, uh, you know, mo mo moving forward, we'll be doing it on a Tuesdays instead of Wednesday, and it'll be at this time as well, 5 p.m. 5, 5 p.m. Central, which is 3 p.m. Pacific or 6 p.m. Eastern, okay, and and then uh, you know throughout uh, you know th throughout this, whenever you have guys have questions, uh, please do submit them to the hotline, which is in the members area for me. If you don't know where that is, is in the in the members area. Let me know. You guys will have access to that, uh, and also you are. Um, uh, yeah, so any any real estate questions, submit it to there because there's a ticketing system. There, there's a ticketing system that uh, will track all of the questions. And then my assistant, uh, Jenny, also helped me keep track of that so I don't miss anything because, you know, when, when you send it any other ways, like through emails and stuff, it could very well be that I might miss it. Uh, but uh, just in case, I'm also going to give you my email uh, address, my personal email address, in case you need to get a hold of me for some, you know, some other reason. But like I said, the best way isn't to email me because if you email me, there's a much higher chance that I will miss it than if you send it to the hotline where everything is tracked and there's a ticketing system in place. Okay. And if you need to talk to me. Um, you, know, you, 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 if you if you need to talk to me, you can send it either to my email or hotline. Uh, well, probably send it to a hotline might be e easier so my assistant can then schedule you a time for me to call you. And, and then, uh, then I'll call you and talk about, you know, if you have a specific deal that you're working on and you just like, you know, can't wait for the, um, can't wait for the, uh, the, uh, the Tuesday training. And you need to get a hold of me. We could do that. Okay. All right. Um, you know, I can teach you all of these audio stuff, all that I want. And yeah, and 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 some of you are going to be very successful at it and go out there and make a lot of money. 
And some of you, it doesn't matter how hard you tried, it doesn't matter how hard you work, it doesn't matter how precisely you implement what I teach you, you are not going to be successful with this. And the only difference between y'all two is not how hard you work. The only difference between the two of you is going to be, you know, how your mind works, you know, the, the things that go through your mind, your thought process. Because your thoughts is going to, your, 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 you know, your, your thoughts is what's going to uh, create the feeling inside of you. Your feeling is going to then get you to take action, and then your action is going to get the result. The, um, your action is going to get you your result. And so, so if you are the type of person who thinks that nothing is working, that you know the war is against you, you know nothing seems to be working, and you, you know, everything that you touch, you seems like there's more problems. Everything you touch seems like it's not working. If you're that type of person, then I can guarantee you this program will not work for you. It's not because that the program doesn't work. It's because you see the way the universe works is that. It gives us what we want. It gives us what we think. You know, we, 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 the, um, you know, the way the way God created us is that He gave us the same creation ability, um, and and so when we we have these thoughts and we have these stories that we tell ourselves, and if you have the you know if you have a wrong kind of story. You are going to tell yourself this story. You're going to tell you, you know, and this happens subconsciously, so you might not even be aware of it, okay? You know, and you know, and so you tell yourself the stories that you want to say. You know, you tell the stories of I'm, a, you know, um, nothing ever works for me. Anything that I touch, you know, go, turns sour, or whatever the case might be. These stories that you're saying to your head, your subconscious mind picks it up and go to work to 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 make that a dream come true for you, to make that a reality for you. And so you will always run into problems, you will always run into challenges and doing real estate will become extremely difficult for you. Not just doing real estate but doing any type of business out there will become very difficult for you. Okay? And this is not hokey pokey stuff. You know, this is real stuff. I mean, you know, a lot of people have been studying this and and if you talk to any successful people, they'll tell you this. And so success in business and in life is more than just the strategies, is more than just the techniques. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think that the strategies and the techniques, the a lot of the stuff that I'll be teaching you during this mentorship program, they are only 20% of your success. 80 of your 80% 80 of your success. Is not going to come from these, you know. Is is uh, eighty percent of your success is not going to come from uh, these um, 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 strategies. Eighty percent of your success is going to come from the what you think about in your head uh, each and every single day, each and every single hour, each and every single minute. Okay, and so it's it's extremely extremely important. That that you get that stuff right, and I started a show called the Happy Hour Show. Uh, any of you guys uh, have been on the Happy Hour before? I know Carlo has been on the Happy Hour. Anyone else? You're doing this process. I want you to try your best to be on the Happy Hour. Um, you know, every single day that you can. Okay. Um, as you know, as many days as you can, because uh, I do it every weekday, Monday to Friday, and um, and it's from 8 a.m. Central to 9 a.m. Central, which is 6 a.m. Pacific for those of you who are in Pacific, and 9 a.m. Eastern if you are in Eastern. And I talk about these mindset. I talk about you know the difference between how rich people think versus how poor people think. Uh, I talk about those kind of stuff uh, every, every single day on the show. You know different topics, but it's um, and then also to um, you know the other half of the show, I interview a successful um, you know a uh, uh, yeah a successful entrepreneur, and so 
you know, so the more that you are able to listen to that, the better it is going to be for you. And the more you're able to tune in to, show, to that show, the better it is for you. And it is also a free show as well. Uh, just because it's not talking about any real estate specific strategy, don't underestimate the importance of it and don't underestimate the, um, the power of it that's going to help you. And I mean, I you know I, I've trained a lot of students. I've coached a lot of students, and it's it's not my system. It's not my strategies. You know, the big the biggest difference between a successful student and a non-successful student, like I said, is how much crap they have going on in their head. So make sure we flush out all of these crap. Make sure, <laughs> make sure that we uh, cleanse cleanse your mind and get your mind ready for success okay all right so with that uh, let's get started so when well, you know I mean I'll I might touch on on mindset um, you know at the beginning of each uh, at the beginning of each training here but like I said you know make sure you tune into the happy hour TV Carlos says um, happy hour TV has made such a huge difference in my life Good job, good job, Carlo. Uh, thanks for saying that, buddy. Okay. All right. Um, so <clears throat> I hope by now you guys have been doing your homework and or doing as much of it as possible and. What, what we're going to do throughout this, this uh, program is help you implement. There's really not a whole lot more stuff that I'm going to be teaching you guys on, but uh, just helping you guys to implement what I've already taught you. And so I hope by now that you already have uh, real estate agents that you have worked with. Have, uh, and, and I guess let's start with that. Let's start with the REO listing agents. Have any any one of you have uh, have not gotten with a real estate agent that can either give you access to the MOS or that's going to help you uh, with whatever you need on the MOS? Any of you have not have gotten that part yet? Because that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to study your market area. We're going to focus in on the top five zip codes. Of the most cash buyers in your market area, okay. and we're gonna know, we're gonna learn about them. We're gonna, we we wanna know, you know, what is it that they are buying? Are they buying single family homes, condos? You know, what is it that they're buying? How much they're buying it for? What are the square feet that they're buying it? Uh, these home range in. Okay, how many bedroom, bathroom? Okay, Rono said I have access to an agent that will help me out, but don't have access to MLS. That's fine. So you can work with that agent for now until you build more you build stronger relationship with this agent, and they'll give you access to the MLS, or uh, or until you get access to your own MLS. Or you you might end up partnering up with a real estate agent. Who knows? You can do it many many ways, right? I don't care how you do it, really, as long as you or somebody it's going to help you get access to it. So everyone else uh, have access to the MOS then I assume. Okay. Um, you know, e e either have access or have an agent that's gonna that's gonna. Uh, get it for you. Rich is that know me yet, but I have agents. All right. Well if yeah. If the um yeah if the agent's willing to do this for you then that's fine. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna log in to um, to my MOS um, here in Houston. And all right, uh, Larry, 
do you have an agent that can um, that can do this for you? You guys gonna have to make it a priority for me, okay? This agent thing, uh, you know, talking to a real estate agent, building relationship with them, it has to be a, your priority for this week. You can't really move on without that. So it's very very important. Okay. Where is on here it's supposed to be loading okay Um, I'm doing this to show you guys how it's done. So for those of you who uh, who have access to the MLS, you can go ahead and log in and do the same thing. Uh, or, let me see here. And if you don't, just make notes of it. And um, let me see here. Just make notes of it so you can then tell your agent how to do it. Because sometimes they might not know how to do it themselves. Now just because they are an agent doesn't mean they know how to do some of these things that we do. So I'm logging in here. And I'm going to uh, uh, go to my uh, custom search. Okay. And you want to set up a custom search. And I've already set one up, so I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you this here. What you want to do is basically you're looking for the terms of how the closing was done. Uh, you see right here where it says terms. Okay. Every transaction, and I'll, I'll just do a research on one of them for you here. And I'm going to go to the last. Depending on your market area, for those of you who are in a uh, in a market area where the pr the price of your homes has been dropping a lot lately, then you're going to do this search for the last uh, for the last uh, 90 days. But like in in my case, like like a lot of time, you know, if you like uh, the California market, the Florida market. You might want to do this for just the last 90 days, but uh, for those of you who are not in a market area where the price of your homes has been dropping a lot, dropping very fast, like here in Houston, then you can do it for the last six months. So uh, in my case, okay, I'm just gonna go back and do the last um, do the last 90 days for you guys to see. Okay, so that would be March 2010. Okay. And I'm going to take out the zip code here. And I want the term to be cash sale. Okay. So they must have already closed on it. So I'll put sold here as the status. Right. If I want just cash sales for, for foreclosure only, REO only, and I would select this. But uh, I don't need to select that for now. I'm just going to click on, you know, just all cash sale. And it, depending on how much um, returns I get, I might go back and just look for cash sale foreclosure. So that means that we are looking at specifically only cash buyers who have been buying foreclosure. I guess I'll go ahead and put that in. All right, sold. Okay, status is sold. And the terms of how they bought it is cash. Then I'm going to click on. Uh, um, 
probably gonna I'm gonna click on download. Okay, there's a uh, a total of thirteen hundred and fifty nine returns for my uh, for my Houston area here. So I'm just gonna download all fields for now to make it easy. I have other reports that I uh, that I do, but I'll I'll just put all fields for now, then create download. So it's downloading right now. Uh, while it's downloading, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to click on search here. I'm going to take a look at one of these properties. All right, look, look at this house. This thing was sold for only, um, it's a cash sale. It sold for only 7,600 bucks. Oh my gosh, that's cheap. <laughs> okay. And uh, look, see see this terms right here? All right, under sold information right here, terms is cash sale. You see that? That's why it came up. Okay. And uh, yeah, so the buyer bought it, bought it for cash, dollar per square foot. Look, four dollars and twenty-four cents a square. <laughs> My goodness. Let me see if it's a if it's a teardown property. It's in Laporte. Property sold as is, way as cash only. Cash only offers property being sold for lot value only. Earnest money one thousand dollars. Addendums to follow except offers. Except the alpha seller will pay the title insurance if buyer closes at seller selected title company. Buyer has a five day inspection period during which time buyer may terminate and receive full refund of earnest money. Utilities will not be turned on nor access to interior be accessible due to condition of structure. There is no interior slab foundation. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Uh, right. So they, they're trying to sell this as a teardown, as a uh, lot value only property. They sold it pretty quick, you know, 18 days. So the minute they put it under for sale, they got it sold. I'm sure somebody's going to buy it and fix it up. They put, I mean, it doesn't look like something I would tear down. So if, if I was to buy this property, I would have, you know, um, you know, wholesale it, and then um, I'm sure my buyer would then fix it up and not uh, and not tear it down there. All right. Uh, so, let's see here. So, let me see if my report is done. Save. My report is downloading still. Um, see. Parallel. Right. Uh, I'm gonna call this a um, cash. Oyos. March two thousand ten March to June two thousand ten. Save. Oops. Oh man. First the wrong uh, Oh 
new tensor may open. Yes. I'm on a Mac and this uh, Tempo software that I'm using is um, uh, it's, it's a Citrix software because uh, my my uh, my Temple MOS I can only use uh, Internet Explorer and there's no in Internet Explorer for Mac and so it's not saving my files here. Hold on. Let me cancel this and do it again. Man, it keep telling me I don't have permission. Maybe I need to turn on my parallel. Let's see here. Uh -huh. Why isn't it working for me? Download complete. Right, open folder. Close. Let me find it. But uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to then. Uh, what you know? Let me see. Okay, let me uh, let me find it here. Oh gosh, it's not. Hold on here, it's giving me a hard time now. Not wanting to respond to everything. It might. I'm hoping it won't crash on me here. So, you know, once you download it, you're gonna um, you you're gonna have an uh, an Excel file, okay? And in this Excel file, you're going to then sort it by the zip code, so that way you can find out, okay, which zip code is it that has the most activities, okay? And let me see here. Where have it downloaded? I can't tell where my files have been downloaded to. <laughs> it says it's download complete, but I just have no clue. 
And now my uh, my citrus here is frozen. So let's see here. I don't know why. Let me close this thing out. I think it crashed on me. All right. Do you guys uh, have an idea of what I am uh, uh, what I am trying to do? Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys got it. Roland said, yes, I did some last night. That's good. Okay. So um so for so were you able to uh for the ones who did it, were you able to um find out what the top uh the uh, the, the top five zip code is or the for your market area? Um, Roland said only 87 transactions for the month. Um, seven transactions is very little. You, you, in your case, you might want to go for the the last six months so you can have more data. Okay. Carlos said, um, "Yes, I was able to find the busy cash buyer zips. Good." Okay, in my county, and so, so once you once you identify those uh, what those zip codes are, then you want to go ahead and take a look at, and you, you're gonna do some research on this. Okay, there's two ways you can do this. Wait. Maybe I should have done this on a on a Windows computer. You know what? Next time I'll do it on a, my Windows computer instead of this uh, this Mac because my MOS doesn't work well on this Mac. Okay. All right. So if, yeah, I'll just show you what I can for now. So. You know, once you figure out, okay, well, what are some of the, um, oh, okay. you know, once you figure out, okay, what are your top five zip codes, once you figure out what are the top five zip codes, then those are the zip codes that we're gonna farm in, and so we we're gonna need you to know these things. Okay, we're gonna need you to know, you know what type of properties they're buying, okay. how much they're you know how much they're buying it for. Okay, so you're gonna have a range. What is the square footage that most of them buy in? For example, you know most of the, uh, most of the properties that we deal with that our cash buyers buy in are right between a thousand square feet to uh, to uh, fifteen hundred square feet. Those are like our most common cash buyers here in town. And so, like for us, when we do our search, we'll go ahead and search from nine hundred square feet all the way to twenty one hundred square feet. Uh, just in case, but majority of our buyers are right, are right around a thousand to fifteen hundred square feet. So that's the ones that you want to. Uh, so those are the ones that you want to focus in on.
And so we need to figure out, okay, what that is for your area, okay? We want to find out what type of homes you know they buy, and most of them, most of these cash buyers, landlord buyers, they they'll buy three bedroom, you know, three bedroom, two bath homes. For for markets like like you know, uh, so some of you in the California, your buyers might be willing to buy even two bedrooms that they have the ability to do an addition to add a third bedroom to uh, to create more value for the property. Okay, so that's possible for your area. Okay. And um, you know, if you don't already have a list of uh, of all your agents, log into your members area, right? So log into your members area and click on. Let me uh, let me go here to log in, so you guys can see here. Um, log into your members area and where is it? Okay, here it goes. Log into your members area and click on more and go to uh, all your agents directory. Okay, and when you click all your agents directory, it's gonna pull you up all of the all your listing agents, and uh, there's a high chance they have an active listing in your market. Area. So whatever you set in your profile as your DMA, and we're gonna change it so that way, you know, you can uh, you can select any city and state. But for now, just um, go to uh, go to your profile, right? Your profile, and edit your uh, your update your 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 market area right here. Okay. So I'm in Houston, so I select Houston and click on submit. But you can select whatever market area that you are in, okay? And then um, go to IO Agents Directory. So these are all, you know, like here in Houston, there's 602 of them that you could be building relationships with, okay? And some of them have, uh, have emails, phone numbers, um, you know. Let me go here real quick. All right, so, so yeah, some of them you can email. So contact as many of them uh, as you can, and just let them know that um, that you are a cash buyer. You're looking for some uh, some investment properties, and you and you want to know if they have any uh, if they have any listings of their own that you can make an offer on. Let them know that you are not interested in other listings that they do not own. Uh, other listings on the MOS, you're only interested in their listings. Okay, because you want to give them full six percent. You know, you want them to uh, to get the full commission. You don't care to have a buyer's agent. You yeah, you you don't care to have a buyer's agent. You want them to uh to be able to uh to get the full commission, okay? So, okay. Alan said my MOS will not work on a Mac, yeah, you know, a lot of MOS doesn't work on Mac, and so you might have to use a PC. Like mine is giving me a hard time. So the next time I do the webinar, I'm just going to be on a, on my PC, so that way you guys can see my uh, MOS better.
Golan said, while looking up all your agents, I found it interesting that a few of them are not in my area, but they have a number of listings in my area. Yeah, that happens a lot. Like uh, like that like that uh, that property we were looking at, that was uh, what like sold for uh, um, however much it was. I think it was like seven thousand something. The audio, the listing agent was actually in San Antonio, and I'm here in Houston. So that does happen. Um, Carlos said, uh, what does listed link mean? Oh, it's just a bug in our thing that we need to clean out. <laughs> I assume you're talking about the audio uh, listing agents. Yeah, it's just a bug. We need to clean it out. Okay, let me ask, if I, we, sh equals Sherry and all myself, my wife, go to an RE agent to get access to the MLS, won't they want to be our agent when we go to another RE agent? When we want the listing agent to get both sides of the commission, how do we get around this? Um, well, you can offer your agent who's helping you and getting access to the MLS and stuff, you can offer them to pay them a flat fee for each deal that you sold. Um, and so, you know, let's say you're gonna to pay them 500 bucks for each deal that you close on, that you, you know, that, that you sell to a buyer. You just, you know, yeah, because it's important that we, it's important that we let the listing agents have their full commission, so that way they will favor our, they will favor our offer over other people's offer. And a lot of time they will even tell us about their listings before they put it on the MOS. Like two to three days before they put it on the MOS. So it, that's why it's important for us to, to work directly with the um, IO listing agents and giving them a full commission. Alan asks, any way to get Worcester MA as an area, second largest city in MA and in, in middle of state between Boston and Springfield? You, the way our, our market area works, it goes by, it goes by this, uh, this thing called DMA. It's the TV broadcast station. And so you might have to um, you know, just pick You know, just, just pick whatever is the closest to you. If not, then you, you know you can even pick a multiple. Let's see here. M A M A M A. Um, Boston is the only one, huh? Let me see here. What is next to it? Um, oops. Go back to the map. Yeah, go back to the map. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. So Boston it would be. Uh, um, well, it'll, it'll see this whole green area. That, that Boston MA it's going to cover, so it's going to even cover so, uh, a lot of New Hampshire. Uh, are you looking for this little green one then, Springfield MA? Is that what you're looking for? Between Boston and Springfield. Then I guess you're going to have to, uh, you have to do both the, both the Boston and the Springfield one. So you just have to switch between the two of them if if your town is in the middle. But you know, pay attention to like pay attention to your local TV station. Will you be able to pick up TV from Boston area or from Springfield area? It's probably a part of uh, the Boston area, and so I think the Boston MA 
would be the Boston market area will do you fine. But if not, you know, you can you can do both of those. All right. Um, okay. So so make sure you log into the members area and contact the agents. Get it. Um, uh, you know, find out. Let's find out what's your top five zip codes here. We're gonna attack those. Okay. And do any of you guys have um, what are challenges that you have had in doing your in in finding the cash buyers, finding private lenders, and finding the IO listing agents? What have been your challenges with that? Because I need you to guys to, to do all of that this week so we can move along you know uh, so we can move along in the, and stop and start uh, analyzing some of these properties and making offers on them Um, Carlo, you said you have access to the MOS, right? Do you want to um, do you want to log into your MOS, or 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 let me see here, or if you want to message me, the the link to your MOS website and and the login, I can see if I can help you to find out how you. Um, uh, how okay? How how you can find the cash buyers in your MLS? Yeah. Does your MOS work on Firefox? Um, call you know. All right, what's the login, buddy? Okay, so I am locked on to Carlos ML uh, Carlos uh, MLS right now. Okay, so let's um, all right. Uh, let me look here. Search, quick flex search, MOS, residential, predefined searches. How do I set? Oh, okay. Search. Um, let me see. I'm looking. I'm trying to look for custom search. Custom. custom. Let me just look at full search first.
So there, oh, right here, custom, custom report. All right. So I'm looking for. Looking for you know what I am I'm just gonna go go back to search just do a quick search MOS right all right here it goes I'm just gonna I don't care I just want to find something that has been oh Studio. Where do status change? Hmm. Yeah, every MOS is a little bit different, so let me try to see if I can find my way around here. I'm looking for the sold status um, color. See if you can um, help me with that. Where can I select sold status? Sold status. Okay, price, taxes, and status. Uh, status with VOM. I'm looking for sold. Right, I guess it would be archive listings. All right, um, I don't care. Just give. I'm just. I just want a property. Town. Please select a town. Right. Up to five. I'm just gonna select. Limit. I did. I just submit. Hey, what happened? Did it not find any? What happened? Right. You're, you know, you. you Your agent should be able to find this out much. What? <laughs> Why keep taking me out to this page? I don't get it. Uh, it's yeah, it's right here where you you select the sold one by select unavailable archive listings. So that's that's what's going to be under sold. But I don't understand is that uh, I select my town. What what's what town are you in, um, Carlo? What town should I select? Island Park, Freeport is very busy, so let's go to Freeport. Okay. What? I don't get it. I must be doing something wrong. <laughs> uh, um, free quotes. Free quote. I don't think I sh um Why well, keep on taking me back to this thing? That is weird.
keep on taking me back to this page. All right, so let's try it one more time and this doesn't work, I'm gonna move on. Try to select a little bit more. Let's date. I'm just gonna just want to find something that was sold. What if I click on preview? Why oh, keep giving me that? Forget it. I'm gonna select one of these. No, no. I want archive. You okay, let me see here. Uh, listing dates expired, occupancy, buyer, agent technicians, com. Let's see here. Yeah, in your case, um, is in in your case here, Carlo. I don't I don't see I don't see that the um, the the sole term was. Uh, I don't see that the sole term was very was very um, obvious here. So if your agent doesn't know it. You might want to tell your your agent to call the MOS and ask them how she can um, how she can search for that. Okay, because I don't see it very clearly. Because uh, for you know, as you can see when you saw my MOS, it shows under the sole term there pretty clearly. It says cash sale, but. Um, in your case, I don't see it very clearly, so I think you might have to have the agent to call the call the MOS people and ask them for it. Okay. So thanks for giving us that uh, uh, login to give that a try. Okay. All right, uh, Ronald said, I have a question about cash buy. We spoke earlier. If I get a lender that wants 12% a year, say 100,000, this comes out to be 1,000 monthly in interest payments. If I succeed every month, this is not a problem. But I'm changing the collateral periodically where I can hold the money in the interim time. Don't it become unsecure? They go for something like that in the interim secure. Well, what happens is this: uh, is that um, you could be, you know, um, each time that you sell the property, the property is going to be paid off. Okay, and and so you could be if you do do an agreement with them, you want to make sure that the money is constantly rolling. And if the money is not rolling, that it goes back to the bank account. However, they're still earning interest off of off of you, and so so you, you. I mean, it's all up to you to negotiate with them. But I think it's worth it if you just you know make sure you do at least a deal a month, uh, or even if you do a, a deal every two months, it's still worth it. Even though you're not the one holding the money, they are the one holding the money because you know when you sell these properties. The money is going to be transferred back to them, so you're not holding it. And so, yes, it is non-secure, but you don't have the money they do, your lender do. Larry said, it seems that getting MOS access is my number one priority for this week. So that I can figure out the five zip codes, buyers, etc. Do you agree? Yes, I do agree with that. I already have figured out one hot zip code, but not the top five. Well, I don't want you to figure it out. 
I want to make sure that you know we have the data to support it. I don't want you to guess about it. Uh, and so you know, so so if you have the data, that would be extremely helpful for us. Okay. Uh, let me uh, let me try something here. I am I'm looking for one of my older files here, just a second for me. Just a second here. Let's Is it? Because a lot, um, I was doing some research on this not too long ago. Let me try to look at this one. Um. Uh, while I'm doing this, can you guys go ahead and ask any questions or any challenges that you might be having with uh, with uh, finding IO agents or private lenders? I'm gonna have uh, if you haven't if you have talked to Ivy by now, um, you know, make sure you give her your your county name. We're gonna pull you a list of the cash buyers from um, from uh, from um, Kent Clothier's uh, uh, system for you. Okay, and and then I'm gonna teach you how to clean up that list as well. Let's see. Oh well, I can't find the files right now. But anyways, another way that you can do it without the MOS access, um, and I, I think you should be, you know, 
doing it both ways. Welcome but to But uh, yeah, so what's going on here is that um, if you don't have access to this already, we are going to um, we're going to do the search for you. Okay, we can't give you our access, but uh, but we're, we're going to do the search for you. So let's say uh, let's say I'm here in Texas, and I'm in Harris County, so I select Harris County. Yeah, okay, and I'm going to find any cash buyers that bought a house for 10000 to 500000 Let's say I'm looking for in the last, uh, in the last uh, six months here. So I will go to December 31st, right, December 09 until now. First, okay, um, and I'm gonna do a search on this. Uh, all right, <laughs> so all right, all right, never mind. I'm gonna have to, um, uh, to the fine cash buyers now. Uh, I'm going to have to search it for you. It's, I'm going to have to con contact uh, Kent's office there and do the search again. But it says uh, my search limit is over. Let me, uh, let me lower. Because I've been doing a lot of searches on this thing for different areas. But um, once you find, let me see here, let me answer Richard's question here. This is what one of my two agents replied when I asked her if this search she sent was 100% cash paid. They are not categorized by cash only. I could not critique the sales in that manner. This will let you know the current market trend in the areas you're looking to invest in. I hope this helps. You might want to ask that agent to contact her MOS because a lot of times the agent doesn't know it. So, um, yeah, so, um, you know, find out your. You know, ask you ask that agent to contact her MOS to find out if they to make a hundred percent sure that 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 there is no cash that there is no um, uh, no no um, no cash sales category for them to search it. It's un like like you know like how I show you on like how I show you on my MOS. It's under the yeah, you know, I have to do a custom search to be able to find that. So, yes, a lot of times the the um, the agent does not know how to do the custom searches because they're not they don't normally have to do this, but for normal buyers, for normal people. When is the next mentor class? Uh, it's going to be next next uh, Tuesday. Uh, James wants to know: Can you give us private lender contacts for our areas? Uh, James, have you uh, have you tested out this website uh, that we did last? I think last Tuesday. It's Court H. I don't know if they have. Let me see if they have uh, in your area or not. What uh, what what county you want to search in, uh, James? To submit your, well, let's do this. To submit your county, just uh, just submit it to the um, to the hotline for me, okay? Just log into the members area and submit it to the hotline for me.
Los Angeles. Okay, so there's a Los Angeles County. All right. Win tour green T search. Okay. And I'm gonna search for interest. Uh, file date. Looks like they don't have a, a document type. waiting so we'll see but the website is uh, courtage.com do you know your county do you know your county clerk's um, um, website um, James Wow, it's taking a long time. Still loading, 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 loading. James, do you know your county clerk's website? What is it? Can you give me the link? If not, I might have to send you down to the county clerk's, uh, to the, um, uh, county clerks, thank you. Hold on. All right, and so this, uh, well, there's a lot of returns here since 1993. Trust deed. Okay. Um, let me go back. It's too many returns. I'm going to limit the dates down. Search. If you haven't seen the webinar that I did on this search for private lenders, James, can you make sure you watch the replay? I believe it's the uh, it's the third, it's the one from last Tuesday. So you know, with the the, the replay links from those uh, audio training webinars, access the one on uh, last last uh, last Tuesday which is like the third webinar that we did. So that way you can learn how to do this yourself. Okay. Yes, this, uh, all, all of these, oh, what happened? Survey area. Let me go back. Let me do uh, file date. I'm just going to do file date uh, for the, for, since 2009. until now. This is sub search. I'm gonna have to try this TV. Let me see if that will work or not. While I'm waiting for the other search, I'm going to property. Let 
use the buttons. I'm looking for a Quantum Quantum search. Property search, property search. Do you happen to know the direct link where you can search for, where you can do a grant or grantee search for for the Los Angeles County? And since I'm not familiar with your county, it makes it harder for me here. I have to hurry and do this because we're going to end this webinar in, in, in 10 more minutes because I have to go and prepare. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Let me just go to do that. Well, it's the same website that they're taking to us to. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for how we can search for a grantee grantor search. Uh, submit it to the to the hotline for me, Alan. So log into your members area, and um, under assistance, and then hotline, you'll be able to see it. Looks like this court H is timing out on me here, guys. Yeah, you know, it's this uh Neto online is taking me to the um well but then this one might make you have to pay for it. Oh well. Um uh, January two thousand and nine. Okay. Interest. All right, all right, that's much faster. So, so trustee assignment of grants, trustee. Um, um, I, I think that the terminology here, trust deed here, is the same thing as a, a deed of trust here in Texas, and so. The way you find private lenders, uh, when when you watch the webinar replay that I did last um, last Tuesday, you will you will um, know that interest is a um, it's a um, IRA custodian, and so when we search for who did a uh, a deed of trust or a trust deed to an IRA. That means that this person is the person who borrowed the money, and like in this case, um, Goldstein Family Trust is the one that had lent the money to this person. Um, 
me look at this one. So let's go down to another trustee. Um, uh, so Ghostina Irvin L. This is another person that did another uh, that uh, that lend money to these people. So this looks like this Ghostin Irvin guy is a good guy for you, uh, a good private lender for you. Okay, here's another one. You have a, uh, uh, I can't pronounce this last name, Vid, Vidya Dishran. Well, so this private lender loaned money to this person. Okay, so I go down and look at all of the trust details. New Vance loan money to uh, Oak Ridge Management LLC. Uh, New Vance again. Here's uh, also, yeah, oh, that's reconveyance. Never mind. Here's another trust deed. So you have Gregory Scott Rifkin, Goldstein, Irvin Goldstein, Ira. So uh, this guy loaned money to this person. So I would definitely check, uh, find the phone, go to whitepages.com, James. And find a phone number to this Owen Goldstein guy because he's loaning a lot of money to a lot of different people. Uh, look, see, I, you see his name over and over again, Owen Goldstein. So check him out. Go to the next page. You see how I'm doing this? So uh, looks like you can use uh, MedAlt Online to do this. That's cool didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm looking at. All right, how about now? Can you see what I'm looking at now? So I am looking at, uh, let me go back. So let me show you what, what I did, okay? I, I was on um, netonline.com. I went to uh, Los Angeles, uh, I went to um, California State and then Los Angeles County and it gives me the links to the different uh, public websites and then I click on the searchable grantor grantee index here, it's a new feature that they have and it took me, uh, and so what it did was, uh, here let me click on it, so it takes me to this page and then I select grantee then I select uh, just from uh, January 2009, okay, until now, and then I type in Interest. And Interest is an IOA custodian company. So, and then uh, and then I look for everything that says type here, trust deed, okay. The grantor is the borrower. The grantee is the is the lender. So you look for things that doesn't have like interest is the IR custodian, so that's not a person. Uh, trustee, that's just the trustee that's handling it, so that's not a person. But this right here, the uh, Goldstein Family Trust, that would be a lender. Okay. So I go down and look for for more like um, deed of trust here, or trust deed, and then I see O uh, Irvin Goldstein. You see that? Right, so you see interest, you see the trustee, and then you see Irvin Goldstein, and he lent money to these people. And then so I go down some more, look for more trust deed. I see these people lend money to this person. I can't pronounce their last name, it's way too long. You guys can see it now? James? Who else was in Los Angeles? This will be also helpful for you as well. Okay, okay yes, Richard. Um, so yeah, so these are plenty of private lenders for you guys, okay? And I can do this not just for, you know, not, not just for uh, um, interest. Let me go back here and I can also search for equity trust as well. So let me do grant T. Okay. 
And so once you have that name, you are going to then um, you're going to then go to whitepages.com. So let's say uh, I'm going to go to whitepages.com, and I'm going to look for Irvin Goldstein, and he is in Los Angeles. California. He would be so here you go. This might be the person. His phone number is right here. Okay. So you would call him up. It's this person we're looking for right here. Irvin L. Goldstein. He's eight ninety-six years old. That's what you're gonna find. A lot of these um private lenders, they're they're, they're uh, much older, okay? And so call this person up to see if they're, they're the same person as, uh, as this person, um, Irving L. Goldstein. And you ask him the way, the way I call, I, I'll say, you know, Hi, um, um, hi. May I speak to Mr. Goldstein, please? And the, the, he'll say yes or no. And I say, are are you the uh, um, Irving Goldstein with Intrust, uh, the the IA custodian? They said yes. And then they now say, I noticed that um, you know, I noticed that you lend money to other real estate investors, and I was wondering, uh, you know, if uh, if you're still you know, if still um, lending on, you know, if you're still lending money on real estate, because I have a way for you to, you know, get twenty up to twenty four percent return on your money without real estate deals. So that's how I approach them. You guys, got it? Pretty easy, right? Richard asks, is the MOS the only place of data to show cash uh, cash paid buyers? No. MOS is not the only place. It's you know it's uh, it's one of the best places to find, but it's not the only place. We can use uh, we can use uh, Kent's um, Kent Clothier's uh, system to do that. Or for those of you who ha have access to uh, FreedomSoft, uh, you can also use uh, FreedomSoft to get that as well. Okay. Um, you yeah you don't you guys not gonna need to buy Kent's Clovio system. We're um, we're gonna I'll I'll have my assistant to um, uh, to do that research uh, for you and send it over to you. Okay. So we'll we'll do that for you this week. And let's see here. All right, so I went to search for uh, um, equity trust, and same thing, you know, you have the trust deed here. So you have Tim uh, Connors IR, loan money to Jose Garcia and Jason Gonzalez. So I would uh, I would search for Tim Connors. Tim, and then I go down here. Uh, assignment of trust deed. You can also use assignment of trust deed. Um, or here, Rick O'Hara, uh, Jill O'Hara. Um, we 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 don't want deed. We want uh, trust deed here. So we have uh, Sterling Trust that loan money to Remy Holdings. Okay, so I go to the next page. Looks um, all right. So look for more for more trust deed. It's the link trust, trust deed. Next page. This thing doesn't tell me how many pages there are. 
So you're just going to have to go through this. There's another trust deed. Wow, this one has a lot of people. Must be a big property. Wow. So they have a whole pool. Look at all of these uh, private investors, right? Uh, all pool together to loan money to this person. It must be a big property. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of people. It's a lot. Maybe it's a big commercial property. You can pull this document and look at it and see. It's a trust deed, John Grams, loan money to Westchester Partners. Um, let me see, Col Colleen Bigler, Charles Hain, <laughs> excuse me, Lou Rosenberg, lend money to Sonia Bacello. Okay. Uh, you guys got the idea, right? I'm not going to keep on doing this. Uh, for this California, you're only looking for trust deed. Yes, uh huh. So just trust deed only. You know, it's the document that people sign to put up the property as a collateral. Uh, Richard, yes. Um, um, you can either email ivy at dudios dot com. You are your the name of your county, not the city, but the name of the county. Or you can, um, uh, or you can um, uh, submit it to the hotline for me, okay? In the members area, the name of your county. So we can get you a list of cash buyers. You're gonna have to go through and clean it up, and delete it. You know, um, de depending on your depending on your area, it, it it's mixed in cash buyers as well as mortgage companies, because when mortgage company foreclose on a property and get it back. Sometimes they list it as if they are a cash buyer. So we have to go through and we have to delete as many of the ones that we think are mortgage companies as we can so we can have a clean list of, uh, of only the, uh, of, uh, of only the, uh, you know, the ones that we think are, uh, the, the ones that we think are um, uh, the cash buyers in that area. Uh, homework for next week number one either either get access to the MLS or have an agent to work with you that will you know that will work with you closely to get you uh, to get you a list of all of the cash transaction that was sold in your area in the last um, I guess just go ahead and get it in the last six months for me and then we'll on our own we'll filter it down to the last three months if we need to okay and so, so either the last, yeah, just get it for the last six months, all of the cash transaction uh, in your area, and we're gonna, uh, and then you're gonna sort it out by the zip code, so you can find out which zip codes are the top five zip codes with the most activities, and then you're gonna look through all of those uh, transactions, and you're gonna uh, be, you're gonna try to find out, you know, um, what what type of properties they're buying. How much they're they're paying for these, um, and we're looking for the the most common ones. You know, you're gonna find some cash buyers that bought properties for a lot a lot higher than others. We wanna find like a, you know, get an idea for a range. You know, for example, I mean, you know, for example, it could be that, um, uh, you know, it, it could be that that um, that. My cash buyers here in Houston buy homes anywhere from you know homes that are a hundred square feet. You know, you know, well, there's no such thing as homes that are hundred square feet. But let's say if that's the case, a hundred square feet to five thousand square feet. I want to. What I want to know is I want to know where is the majority of homes bought, and majority of homes bought for cash here in Houston are between a thousand square feet to fifteen hundred square feet. So that's what you want to know as well. Uh, for your market area, okay. You want to know. Um, you know, you 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 want to know. Uh, let me see here. 
um, you, know, you want to know how much they, they're, they're paying for these properties, uh, the square feet, the bedroom, bathroom, okay, so you want to have a really good idea. And um, James asked, we are working the following counties, Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Bern 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 Riverside and San Diego, can I get info on these counties? I, folk, I, I would suggest for you to just pick one county right now, James. Don't try to do too many. Just pick one. Um, unless you are currently doing a lot of deals already and that you can handle a lot of counties, then that's fine. If not, just pick one county for now. Learn how to do this for that one county first, and then you can expand into other counties. I'll give you an example. I'm here in Houston, and... I only focus on like five or six zip codes here in Houston. Uh, really, there's just like three main zip codes that I focus on the most, and the other ones are like secondary zip codes. And so you don't need to be in a lot of different counties. You don't need to be in a lot of different zip codes. And so just pick one county and focus in on that first, and and you know know how to do that. And then if you want to decide to expand to other counties, then you can. But, uh, but start with one. You don't need a lot of zip codes. You don't need a lot of counties to make a lot of money in, in, uh, in this business. Okay. All right, you guys got that? So we're going to go ahead and end tonight's webinar. Um, we will resume next Tuesday. Okay, so I'm going to send out another registration uh, link for you guys to, uh, to register. It will be uh, next Tuesday. And um, uh, and um, and yeah, that, that I think that'll be it. Is there any other questions? Did I miss anybody? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks, James. Um, all right. So you guys all know what you need to do for your homework, right? Okay, yes, um, Ivy will pull you a list of uh, cash buyers for your for your LA County there, Richard, yes. All right. Um, Juan asks, can we change the time? Not really, but what time are you suggesting, Juan? Because this is the best time for me. Uh, any other time would be, um, you know, I, I don't know, but what time are you suggesting? Roland said, please don't change the time. <laughs> uh, so we have people fighting. Uh, 6 p.m. Central. Richard said, this time it's OK. OK, Carlos said, this was awesome. Um, so it looks like this is, this is a good time for a lot of people. Uh, so try to tune in uh, for this time. And if more people, you know, if, if other, uh, yeah, seems like everybody's saying this time is okay. So we're going to stick with this for now, Juan. If you have to, just watch the replay. Just come, uh, come at 6 p.m. If, uh, if, if you have to, and then just watch the replay from the, from, um, from the 5 to 6 o'clock. Uh, you can, you can do that. And, and then um, if, yeah, and I, I was, yeah. Okay, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll go from there. Um, there are um, Roland asked. Uh, just curious, how many of us are, uh, are in here? Uh, there are well, currently there are f uh, f uh, fourteen of you in here, but there there will be some more people that will come that be coming in too. So, all right, y'all. Well. We will email you out the replays at the end of each uh, at the end of each um, uh, webinars. So watch out for your emails for the replay. And um, what else? Uh, I think that's it. So I will see what I can do about the the, the six p.m. Let me see six p.m. seven thirty six. Uh, 
Yeah, 6, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. If we do do it at 6 p.m. Central, which is an hour later than, than the 5 p.m. Central, uh, would all of you guys be able to uh, to do that? Let me see. I, I will have to check. I can't. I don't know for sure if I can do 6 p.m. But maybe we we'll, we'll might switch some. Let's see here. Okay. All right. So I think yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll think a little bit more on that and let you guys know. But uh, for next for next week, just plan on being here at 5 p.m. And if we can move it to six, I'll uh, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. So I think that's pretty much it. You guys all should know what you need to do now for your homework. Just do you know if you have to go back and watch the replays from the uh, from the training class that we did in the past couple of weeks. Watch the replay on that, uh, and do your homework from that class, as well as uh, study this market. Okay, all right, y'all. Well, then I will talk to you guys next week. And uh, meanwhile, if you have any questions, submit it to the hotline for me, and we'll go from there. All right, thanks, y'all, for coming on. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs> Carlo asked, "Did we get to dance our way out?" Sure, you can dance your way out. <laughs> But uh, I'll have the music next time. All right, thanks, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.